interestingly, you know, I've operated on a number of major league baseball players and for them seeing the laces on the ball it's as huge. hitters is enormous. It's their career. It is their career. And it's the difference between them hitting, you know, well or average. And, and some of these players that we've operated on have been 2020 before they had surgery but they wanted to be 2015 or 2010. And what that means is, you know, again, here's another nomenclature issue. What is 2020 vision? Uh, 2020 simply means that you can see at 20 feet what a quote unquote normal person can see at 20 feet. If you're 2010, you can see at 20 feet what a normal person has to get 10 feet up to in order yeah. to see. So 2010 is better than 2020. So some of these guys want to be 2010 or 20, you know, whatever it is, 2015. We've been able to achieve that with modern forms of laser vision correction because- Wait a minute, how is the, isn't this now getting into the performance enhancing side of things? Isn't this kind of amazing? You know, I never it's even interesting. Of yeah, for sure. And, and I had a discussion yesterday with a guy who owns a soccer team. And I said, have you ever had your players tested for their vision and he sort of froze and turned white turned white for a second he just said it's so crazy you say that because we put them through this barrage of tests physically to see what their heart their lungs their kidneys all that stuff we didn't check their vision and there are ways to boost human performance beyond 2020 the theoretical limit of how well you could see is defined by essentially the pixelation of your retina, the spacing of the cells of those photoreceptors that we talked about and earlier. Does that vary from pe person to person? It, it has to, but it's somewhere in the vicinity of about 2008 or, or so. And so if you can have a sharp enough image, you could theoretically see better than 2010. And the only way you can really achieve that is to remove some of the optical irregularities that we are all born with and somehow neutralize them along with the glasses prescription. And we can actually do that with laser vision correction currently. So why would it be beneficial? I guess we'll talk about laser surgery and maybe you'll want to park this question until then. Yeah. Why would it be beneficial to an athlete who for understandable reasons needs the best vision possible to go undergo laser corrective surgery versus just using contact lenses to accomplish the same thing. Is that possible? Yeah. So if you think about contact lenses, anyone who's ever worn contact lenses knows that when you put in a brand new pair of contact lenses, you can see pretty well with them. And then you begin to regard that contact lens as a foreign object. So your body just begins to attack it, coat it with all sorts of immunological debris. You are susceptible to pollen, uh, dust, whatever it is that coats this, this you know, formerly pristine object. And let's say it ha there is correction for astigmatism in that contact lens where its orientation is important. Every time you blink, that contact lens moves a little bit. All of those factors contribute to optical performance that is less than what you could achieve with spectacles or laser vision correction. So particularly soft contact lenses do a very, very good job, but they don't give you superhuman vision performance typically. You know, it's funny. I experimented two years ago with a stronger prescription than normal right to get me to 2015 in my dominant eye for archery sure um goofed up your near though that's the problem i yeah. just abandoned it immediately yeah. after like six months of suffering yeah. because it made my presbyopia right. worse yes goofed so up i was your just like oh, this just isn't worth it <laughs> yeah that's right yeah that's the that's the challenge when you if, when you pull the image farther and farther away uh, you, you're doing the same thing with the near image as well.